Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. One of my favorite ways to cleanse my face is to use an oil cleanser. It is so good at dissolving any oil, any SPF, any makeup, just everything on your skin that it only makes sense that you would dissolve it on your body as well. As you guys know, I've been dealing with acne for about three years now and one of the things that hands down has changed the way I cleanse my skin is oil cleansing. Now, I wanted to give it a try and see what that would do for my body. I do have a bit of chest acne as well as back acne Acne, that um, when you're dealing with acne it's kind of a byproduct it doesn't just stay on your face it goes everywhere else the ones that I use in this video is actually from a Canadian brand it's called lippy doll now I've done review on some of their products before on my website this would be their oil cleanser for your face as well as the overnight oil so without further ado let's get on with the video So I was really drawn to these products because they don't have any surfactants in them. Surfactants really dry out your skin. And for me, someone who deals with acne as well as who lives in a very cold climate, drying out your skin and stripping your skin of all the natural moistures is something that you do want to avoid. So on the back, apply to wet skin. The oil will emulsify and lather, rinse off. It's suitable for sensitive skin and it's non-comedogenic. And it's supposed to cleanse without stripping your skin. Now this is a 200 milliliter bottle and it lasts for about six months after using it for a week I'm, 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 I haven't even made a dent on this so yeah so next I'm gonna talk about this body oil this is called the after shower oil and it comes with 175 milliliters um, and it also lasts for about six months now it says apply to clean dry skin after showering suitable for sensitive skin and it's non comedogenic and it says that it helps the skin hold in moisture first thing I noticed about this product was, of course, its texture. This is an oil. This is not a body shampoo. It's not going to suds up like your gel cleanser. At the end of the day, sudsing up does not equate to cleanliness. So, you know, keep that in mind. That was took a little bit of getting used to, especially in the shower. Like when the oil gets on the bottle and it's all slippery and then your hands are wet. I just am concerned about how much water is getting back into this actual um, nozzle. Just because look, it's a bit cloudy at the top. Um, so bacteria that is an issue and I and I um, that's definitely something to keep in mind which makes sense that it only lasts for six months um, now obviously these are formulated in a lab so they would be able to map out how to deal with getting a little bit of water in here it feels really, really good the texture of this is so silky it feels like you're putting oil <laughs> on your skin go figure but I did love that after coming out of the shower I didn't feel any of that um, stickiness that I thought I was gonna get you know that feeling of oil like a layer of oil on top of your skin I didn't get any of that so that was really interesting after stepping out of the shower using the after shower oil my skin was glistening and just glowing without me having to wear body makeup like I am today and you guys know that I do wear body makeup right little disclaimer I don't look like this but um yeah this Honestly, makes your skin feel so, so good. Day number two. My biggest concern was that it wasn't going to be hydrating enough for my skin. Not hydrating, but moisturizing enough for my skin because my face is definitely more on the combination oily side, but my body is super dry. I, I feel like my face is just sucking up all the oil everywhere else around my body. My hair and my scalp is dry, my body is dry, but my face? She self moisturizes particularly well. So I was mostly concerned about getting those dry patches on my legs. One thing I would recommend is using this body oil immediately after stepping out the shower. Like don't even dry your skin, just put this on and um, let this sink into your body and you will get that feeling. On day number three, I actually exercised for the first time this year. Day number three was one of my workout days, and when I work out, obviously we get a little, you know, stiffly up there. We were concerned about, I say we like it's multiple people, myself. I was really trying to see if this would do the job in terms of getting rid of that smell. I don't know if you guys know, it may be a little TMI, but I actually don't wear store-bought deodorant, and I have a video coming up on that really soon. Now this product does have a little bit of a lime smell, 
it's not overwhelming and I feel like when you're in the shower you don't feel like it's hitting you in the face it's not highly fragrant but it is a fragrance as much as I can I do try to steer away from fragrance because I've done a lot of research on fragrance it's definitely not something you need in your products and there's absolutely different ways to get an aromatherapy but for someone like me who doesn't wear a traditional deodorant you do still want to smell good so I use this and I really focus it under my arms and um, coming out of the shower it got rid of all of that. With that being said, I was a little concerned about how much exfoliation I was getting. As you guys know, I do have some dark spots. I want to get rid of that too. So I use one of my back loofahs. For me, I try to pay attention to dyes in the fabrics that I'm using. So as you can see, all of my towels are white. My robe is white. My loofah is white. Everything is white. Um, and I was kind of nervous about the oil getting on my white towels and white stuff because I do use a hair oil. It's amla oil, similar color, the same green dark shade and I was really concerned about it staining my white fabrics. My only issue with that is that it did stain my bath loofah um, which was kind of annoying. I don't know if this is a little bit TMI but that's what it looks like. Where I've used the oil you can see before was like all white and down here this is the oil that has stained it. Trust me it does not look like this. I throw it in the wash and so it gets back white but I just pop it in the washing machine and it's totally clean now. Um, but that was really helping me get at my back and everything. So I don't know if this is just lifting all all the dirt off of my body or if it's just the oil tinting the loofah I don't know if that's a little TMI but this is an honest review I didn't feel like my skin was sticky I didn't feel like there was still anything on my skin I didn't feel like I smelt any differently I just felt good I don't know why that sounds so crazy to me but it was cleaning my skin the way a regular cleanser would I don't know why I didn't think it would. I'm just now coming to realize that they actually have been discontinued. Now I did happen to find this at my local Walmart and I just want to make that disclaimer that if you're trying to find these specific products you might encounter a bit of difficulties. I'm sure that this could be replicated with other oil products that you're trying and I will definitely try to look for some other ones that are similar to these. Day number four, I started to notice that my skin was getting really smooth and when I say smooth I mean smooth it is freezing cold in my room so don't mind the goosebumps on my shoulders but I was flabbergasted by using an oil to cleanse your skin you're not stripping your body of any of its natural oils you know I don't know why that sounded like such an epiphany in my head saying it out loud it just makes sense if you're not stripping your skin of any of the oils it is going to thrive growing up I've had really really dry skin on my body I don't know why and for me I'd have to layer Vaseline on my skin to get any moisture to stay in my skin when I was young and I would I stopped wearing denim in the winter because I felt like that really chafed my skin and I would literally put on three layers of moisturizer, come home at the end of the day from school, take off my jeans and have scales falling off of my body. Like it wasn't fun. It definitely wasn't. And so even now, sometimes if I don't moisturize enough, I get those dry scales on my skin. So I was kind of, at this point I was kind of bracing myself for that to start happening. And unfortunately on the bottom half of my legs, I started getting a little bit of that scaliness. And I feel like, yes, it is winter outside. If I was using this in the summer, maybe I wouldn't have experienced the same thing, but I did need something a little bit thicker. And so for that reason, I use this as it says, as an after shower oil when my skin is still wet, but I actually moisturize my skin with my CeraVe moisturizing cream. And this is one of my favorite creams hands down. I use it for my face, I use it for my body, it absolutely helps. So it is day number five and I can honestly say that I truly am in love with these products. I never really thought that oil cleansing for your body would be so monumental. I don't know why that sounds weird. Obviously we cleanse our skin, we cleanse our face with oil, there's oil pulling from your mouth, why wouldn't you cleanse your body with oil? And Honestly, I want to look into getting more permanent additions into my routine because as I mentioned, these are discontinued. You can still find them in certain stores, but I want something more permanent. So I will be on the hunt for some oil cleansers for my body. I absolutely love what it did for my skin. I feel like it just made my skin super hydrated. If you are looking for something new, 
for your skin and you are looking to be more kind to your skin, definitely try an oil cleanser. You will really like it. So would I recommend trying oil cleansing for your body? Absolutely. I think it's definitely an untapped market. I don't think enough people talk about oil cleansing for your body at least. In a world where moisture is queen, it is definitely something that you at least should try. So let me know, have you guys incorporated oil in your body routine? I would love to know what you guys are using as well as your thoughts. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my very next video. Bye.